hi and welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to show you our newest pattern the ruth pattern and it's a jacket pattern but first i thought i would show you the inspiration um for the pattern if i can find it oh, here it is okay um so this is the inspiration picture was this lady in her garden um so cute. Okay, so that's the inspiration behind the jacket. So the Ruth jacket is a kind of like a looser fitting jacket with a drop shoulder, and then it comes with three options. So you can have the regular jacket option like this with the curved hem, or you can do a different version that has a quilt block on the back, which you can see. So it has a quilt block on the back. And then this is, I, I made this. There's a, there's gonna be a YouTube video that shows you how to do a um, scrap pocket out of your scraps from the back um, so that you can make a quilted pocket. But you can just do a regular one or just leave it off or whatever. And then it has pockets, like inseam pockets. And it has a collar and a collar stand and then it's fully lined. So when you're doing the lining on this, since it's the curved hem, you attach the lining to the, um, to the bottom at the hem before you put it up and into the jacket. And then you add the cuffs and the collar afterwards so that everything is tucked into the seams and you don't need your serger unless you're gonna not line it, which you can do. Okay. So this is the second version. And then the third version is the same jacket as this one, except for that it comes to the knee instead of like at the hip. So it finishes lower down. And yeah, so you can make it out of wool, cotton, corduroy, um, like any kind of jacket weight fabric, basically flannel, stuff like that. Okay, and um, this one is just completely made out of cotton. And then on the inside, it has qu um, quilters batting in there because um, it's quilted. If you make the quilted version, then you'll want to size up one size. That way when you wash it, it will shrink because it's 100% cotton and it'll still fit you after it shrinks. So, okay, and for the second version of the jacket or the second version that I made of the jacket, it is this one. Um, let's see if it answers back. Move that out of the way. So this one looks like this, and I just did the curved hem again. I didn't straight because that's how the pattern has you do it. And then it's fully lined too. But I didn't do the buttons on any of my versions because I'm not going to use the buttons. They're just going to be there for decoration, and it would have been a waste of time. So this one has a patch pocket here, and then the cuffs, the collar, and then it has the yoke on the back. So yeah, um, and I really like this version, although it's itchy. But I think now that I've worn it a couple times, it's not as itchy, so I don't know, maybe I'm getting used to it or something. I don't know. Okay, and then also I hacked this jacket already. Um, from a picture from Pinterest and I'll show you that one. So this one is just, I bound all the edges and it's just like a single like layer kind of. Um, I shortened it from the original pattern. So I just brought the hem up and then um, I made I made it come up like a little bit more curved here so that I could do this slit on the side. And then I didn't do the cuffs. I just lengthened the sleeve down and, and just did some binding on the edge. And then for the neckline, I didn't do the collar or the collar stand. And I just rounded this edge here um, to do that. And I didn't put the pockets in either because I really don't use pockets. And I did like the big square grid quilting on this one. I don't know. It's so hard to see. 
because when it gets my face, then it doesn't focus. This is a hack, and then the other two are just how it comes in the pattern. All of our testers this time asked not to um, share their pictures, but one of them shared on a hashtag so far on Instagram. So if you want to look at the hashtag, I will put that in the description box along with the link to the pattern. So the pattern comes in sizes 6 to 30, and that's a bust of 31 to 55, I think. And I will say that this pattern was my sister's idea completely. This is not my idea. Um, so I just, I don't want to take the credit for her idea. Um, and yeah, so I hope you like the pattern. It's $5 for the first week. And I will put a link to the jacket fabric to this fabric because they have tons of this Aztec wool fabric on their website and it's not that expensive. Um, it's not that cheap, but it's not that expensive and it was easy to work with. So, um, and they have tons of colors if you're looking for this kind of fabric because it took me a while to find a shop that had the one I was wanting or what I had in mind. And then when I found it, they had so much. So yeah, and I'd never heard of them before. They're in Canada, I think. So, yeah. And I don't know which one is my favorite, actually. But, anyways, so thanks for watching, and I hope that you like the pattern. So, bye.